Welcome back to the Struggle Zone. Check this out. I want to uh, address something, man. It's my response to to this Negro, Boyce Watkins, in that uh, Jay Morrison interview. Look, man. I've been telling people for a while now that this nigga Boyce was suspect. That this nigga was suspect. And this nigga, he wasn't no authentic individual. And I saw it, I've been seeing it for a long time. That's why he got he got me blocked from his channel. He got me blocked. The chick Vicky Dillard got me blocked. They all blocked me. You know what I mean? All of them blocked me. Because I don't just go along and get along, man. And this dude had Jay Morrison on his on his show. Right? And it's no different. Then we had Tali Kwali on his show. He speaks as if he's for reparations, but he does everything against it. You dig what I'm saying? He don't support it. I wouldn't be surprised if this Negro had an immigrant background, to be honest with you. Like I said, I'm like, I think one of my last videos, I was like, well, if you have a problem with Yvette and Tone, Deal with them as individuals. Don't try to uh, destroy the movement. Or have people on your show who want to destroy the movement. You dig what I'm saying? I don't agree with everything you've had to say. I got some strong things I disagree with. But, at the same time, I have a right to my, my disagreement. But, I'm not going to sit here and try to, try to tear them down stop what they're doing. What I'm going to do is work behind the scenes and uh, do things to add on to what they're doing. You dig know what I'm saying? Because they're going to need help. You feel me? So that's what we got to do. We got to start thinking like that. You dig know what I'm saying? We got to think. We got to start thinking like that and start working together. And anybody who tries to, to undermine what we're doing, push them to the side. Don't fuck with them. It's just that simple. And boss is one of those people. I knew this dude was suspect back when uh, there was this issue with this with the brother with this comedian Lil Lil Duvall in the Breakfast Club, and he said if if a transvestite kissed him, he would kill him. Well, boys later on replied, called that man homophobic because he don't want to be kissed by a fucking dude. You dig what I'm saying? And then following that, he had Cleo Monaga on his show. A flaming fucking homosexual. You know what I'm saying? You do what you want to do. But you can't tell somebody they're homophobic because they, cause they don't want to participate in that. And another thing, um, when he had uh, Talib Kweli on the show, that's, that's just solidified it for me. You know what I'm saying? It just solidified it for me. You feel me? That this dude was an agent because Talib Kweli is a fucking moron. <laughs> They banned me off. They kicked me off Twitter because I told uh, uh, Chuck D that um, Talib Kweli was a fucking moron, and I called out uh, Charlemagne the God on his bullshit. So they kicked me off Twitter for uh, for hate speech because of that. You dig what I'm saying? I'm gonna eventually show the uh, show the post. I saved it to my email, but yeah. So what I'm saying, man, these guys, man, just because somebody talk good, man, that don't mean shit. You know what I'm saying? They out here talking as if they're teaching economics. These niggas ain't teaching economics. They were teaching economics. Damn. Then they would be building factories. They not building factories. They not talking about shit because they not putting people to work. You dig what I'm saying? They not putting people to work. So they not. They still not. They don't grow their own food. They don't raise. Grow their own cotton. You dig know what I'm saying? These are the things that we need to get into. You dig? And boys, the nigga is so fucking suspect, man. And I've been saying it for the longest. When he got down me uh, all the way back when he was uh got found out that he was pushing this shit, working for some, some Asian dudes, and fake crying on things on, on, on his uh, lives and shit. 
to co- to sell pro- products to black people. You dig what I'm saying? This shit is crazy. So we being used by these individuals, man, who's who's not really producing anything, including Jay Jay Morrison. If he's Dominican, he need to shut the fuck up. Get out of our business. You know what I'm saying? We not in the Dominican Republic telling people what to do shit. You got Dominicans over there killing black people. You know what I'm saying? But you want to come here and want us to be all inclusive. Man, no, fuck that. Fuck that, man. So what I'm telling y'all is this, man. I've suspected for a long time that Boyce was suspect. You know? And now, the truth is coming out. Even Tariq Nasheed is recognizing it now. That this nigga is a suspect. So, you know what I'm saying? That is what it is, man. Don't trust these niggas just because they talk good. They need to be able to produce something. Stop letting these cats talk about economics without, without producing anything. You know what I'm saying? Without manufacturing anything. If they to come want to talk to you about economics, right? The next thing you need to ask them, what are they manufacturing and what are they producing? That's how, that's how you stay away from all that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? If they talking to you about finances, right? They need to be able to show you how are they creating finance companies to fund certain businesses? How are they, are they creating credit unions? That's the shit we need. Fuck all this talk about investments and starting up businesses when you when you are in finance, but you're not setting up um, financial institutions that can loan money, give out credit. You dig what I'm saying? And you can fund your own endeavors. You dig? That's finance. If you know a lot about finance, that's. Then you, then those are the type of things that you uh, you should be doing. You know what I'm saying? Creating financial institutions, banks, loan companies, mortgage companies, um, setting up credit unions. Boys is not doing any of that shit. And none of these niggas that talking to you about finance is doing it. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's stopping us for establishing our own credit union. Boyce is not doing it. He's just talking. He's here to undermine what ADOS is doing. Like I said, I don't agree with everything Tone them is doing. I don't. But what I do agree with if is that they are fighting specifically for their people, for their group. That's one thing I do agree with. You know what I'm saying? And me, I support that. Whether... If they going against the these, the system, then shit, I'm riding just on GP. I'm riding just with my people just because, just because they my people. You dig what I'm saying? See, that's the concept we got to have. We ain't got to agree with every fucking thing. You feel me? I don't agree with uh, my brothers and sisters all the time. But if we're in a situation and a fight breaks out, and my brother and sister get into a, a fist fight or something. Guess what's going to happen? I ain't got to know what the fuck's going on. I'm riding on GP. Just because I'm riding with my fucking family regardless. You dig what I'm saying? So that's how we got to have it. We got to ride with our people on GP. General purpose. Just for the hell of it. Simply because that's my people. You dig what I'm saying? Because that's what everybody else does. They don't give a fuck. How many of us lose our lives? They showed you that with uh, this Dylan Roof cat in South Carolina when he went in that church and killed those nine people. They rode for specifically for their people. They don't give a fuck how you feel about it. And we need to have that same attitude. Quit all this fucking making excuses because you're afraid to stand up as men and women. We got to do what we got to do as a, as a group. Any, anyone who don't understand that these boys Watkins and these Talib Negroes who don't understand that, fuck them. Keep, the, keep them from around you. Don't allow them around you and don't support these individuals. You hear what I'm saying? So welcome to the Struggle Zone, man. Visit me on um, 
on Instagram, Struggle, Struggle Zone on Instagram. Enjoy me, man. Peace out, man.